side that helps to try and secure this after proxy the wave. Probably pick up River Cloud as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, UG. <clears throat> maybe maybe this is testing the waters yeah. for Red Esports. They do, and they do at least get the crap, but Hooligan oh, wait a minute. walking to the top side all alone. Um, so Arrow lands on the Akai, not the one that you really want. Moving on Blast, not gonna land. Rebo just gets the extra shield and says <laughs> thank you very much. Walks away scot free. Yeah, <laughs> says the ex extra shield, more like my entire life bar is the shield at this point. <laughs> the beauty of Esmeralda. <laughs> I think at this point, what Red Esports is looking to do is just kind of slow the game down because they know that IDNS don't exactly scale too well into this game regardless, so it's kind of on IDNS to be making these aggressive plays, taking these bigger objectives as fast as possible. Yeah, true. You can see they're playing very fast. One, it just doesn't matter. Oh, hey. Yes, we're gonna be okay. Soon. He says a little bit of burn has never hurt anyone. Ooh, good lightning bomb there. Good dodge coming from Pain. And at least they do get it. Oh, Lolita actually snipes it away. Nicely done. But let's see what they can do with this. Because right now, IDNS is probably looking to get the next turtle. Yeah, but when are they going to convert it into something a little bit more tangible? Bane does go through. He does pop the time journey and the flicker ADY. Keeps himself alive and buys them time to get that turtle. Second turtle of the game going over to IDNS. Hayes, though, needs to be careful. No, no, blast. Got a oh, flicker into it. Big. Lands on the two by looking at the back end. Repo gets caught up by Miss Mick. He does have the frost moon shield doing what he can, but the stuns galore. Crowd controls him up. First blood goes over to IDNS. Huh. I, w I didn't expect the maximum charge to actually go in that direction. I thought maybe he would look to actually catch off yeah. Hayes there, but it looks like Hayes was already completely out of there. So I guess it's efficient use of that maximum charge. But meanwhile, this is happening. Coco doing Coco things. <laughs> Being really, really frustrating to deal with. Yeah, just basically pushing up. But you can see IDNS, they're forcing their way through here. Yeah, I mean, they can't really do it. Red Esports can't really do anything. Because Payne already used the Divine Judgment. He's waiting for it to load back up so he can go in for these bigger plays. Yep. All's well that ends well. You yeah. can see Gold Lead into the hands of IDNS, but not catastrophic. Still pretty okay. I was expecting a little bit more blood here, I'm not gonna lie, but so far only one kill five minutes into this game. I thought there'd be a lot more action going on for both of these teams, but yeah, it looks like IDNS is looking to play the neutral objectives and are punishing that top side time and time again. Yep. And see, I think the next one that they want to go for is that turtle once again. They, they're trying to find for a pickoff. They're constantly into this mid lane. If an abyssal arrow lands. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, even if it's all arrow lands, that's their goal. Oh yeah, Hooligan does get the charge off here. Ooh, this little arrow. Oh, this little like arrow is just like one, one centimeter away. They are gonna keep trying to punish. I feel like the gameplay from IDNS is a little slow. Like they set up every condition to make sure that they can actually get a very good siege oh, onto these pain. objectives. Pain, he's the one that's going for the die, but look at it. That's a counter against coming out from AD IDNS. They actually get the counter, but Repo in the front lines. Good time journey will come to Repo. Get controlled out reverse time. We'll push him back. One more auto type but Frost Moon Shoe is there. Oh and no! Abyssal Arrow will stop UG from the attracts IDNS. Once again, playing really, really well. And not to mention that Miz Mix was able to get it. Oh, he does oh, get it! Pulling he the steel. Kill. He gets the shot. One more auto attack. Oh, Easy. can he get it? Oh, 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 Yuji. Another challenge has arrived. And AZY, reverse time into the auto. A lot bomb gets the snipe! That was nasty. AZY clip that and just frame it on your wall. That was, that was disgusting. That was really, really nasty coming in from IDNS. And the worst part is that they are being super uninteractive of Red Esports. I like, mean, this. What? Oh my god. Look, they're doing so much damage from so far away. And Brand cannot do anything about this. And this is IDNS going to the bottom lane, clearing it out. Guess what? Zero kills from Brand Esports. Only one turret, which is the top one. Oh yeah. They have not gotten any turtle, and it's eight minutes in. Surprise, surprise, 6,000 gold lead for Brand Esports. Yeah, and, right. ID, and for IDNS, I'm sorry. Yeah, but the beautiful thing about IDNS's composition right now is that they're looking to just kite out a lot of the damage or engagements coming in from Red Esports. Top, Sooner top, or later. Top, top, repo. Okay. You might have Frost Moon Shields, but Miss Mick has an arc. Ah, uh, yeah. So, as I was saying, Red Esports understands that, oh, yeah, you're going to be playing for the mid game. You're going to be playing until once we start scaling up. We just have to slow down the bleeding as much as possible, scale up into the game, then it just doesn't matter because your damage isn't high enough and isn't consistent enough to really justify being able to take this game all the way through. So IDNS kind of have a clock to... Oh. Look at nah. good, good scare tactic though, I like it. Scare tactic. Yep. And that means ooh, Abyssal Arrow doesn't land. I, I've seen this game before. <laughs>
Whack a mole. Whack a mole. <laughs> but yeah, Red just wants to split themselves up and making sure they're clearing up the lanes. They don't want to give them any more pressure, but that kind of forces IDNS back into their own jungle, clearing it back up. And again, so far, 6k goal lead, IDNS just oh. super uninteractive with Red Esports. No. I think Frenzy is going for the mage field here because he actually uh, went for the Ice Queen wand. Interestingly, Ooh. yeah, that's what, yeah, Maximum Charge doing a lot of damage. So he's Whoa, going for the traditional build instead of the full physical build. This means that he's going to scale off really hard in the late game. So they need to quickly wrap up ASAP. I mean, not only that, you can already see by his emblems alone, he has mage killer. Ah, uh, yep. So he's just going to be knocking. No wonder Wait. they are trying to break this. Mystic has Electro Flash. Okay, oh. yeah, we'll, we'll touch on that in a little bit longer. Pain, oh pain, that, that definitely hurts. Oh, that's actually nasty. Yeah. Meanwhile, IDNS, good wave control. You can see the bottom lane pushing into Brent's eSports bottom side, so they have to go and deal with it. This leaves IDNS free roam onto this lord. Uh, looks like they're trying to collapse on them, but I don't think they can find the angle just yet. And they're kind of holding them back here. They do get it. Good lord. Thing. And I think IDNS, they want to go for this. Engage. Yuji gets stunned up. Oh. Controlled away. Kicked up. IDNS ping pong ball. Yuji gets killed off. And now IDNS, they have a man advantage. They have the goal advantage. They get the lord as well. They're going to look to push. Yeah, they have an 8k gold lead on their hands. I mean, they're just waiting for the lord to start kicking in. And they will be able to break teeth at this point. Oh, Haze oh. is trapped. Haze. Gets pulled back by the time. Reversal time. Ooh, an auto alarm bombs still being a treacherous, treacherous ability. Yep, the reverse time says come back here, Akai. You ain't going anywhere. And now they're going for a Mizimic, looking to put on the pressure. But Brad, they just feel so uninteractive. Fred tries to go for something, but the time trader just says no. Rebo is there. Lumina Blast lands on another two. And that's all she wrote. No chance to even go for the engage. This is a 10 0 onto IDNS, the 2017 champions showing up. Huge, and now they're gonna walk out to the crystal. Oh my goodness, they can't do anything. Yuji just can't do much. That was the most uninteractive game I've ever seen. IDNS forced Red Esports to play their game. They played for a siege comp, they got it. Crazy, crazy game. This is insane. Because look, Missy Me. 205, he has Electro Flash, remember? So he actually walks really, really quickly every single auto. That's why he's able to catch up to those targets. Oh yeah, not, not to mention that he 